welcome back to my channel it's your girl miss v with vlogmas day six so i'm loving this vlogmas it's quite a marathon but i'm not complaining i'm loving each and every bit of vlogmas so if you've not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel to enjoy this vlogmas and other exciting videos that i'm uh, that are going to come so on today's video i want to show you guys how to make nice liver sweet tasty liver so when you've chinjad your mbuzi and you're wondering what am i going to do with my liver this is what you're going to do with your liver so on to our ingredients you're going to need liver of course so this is my liver you're going to need liver of course these are four potato tomatoes sorry four tomatoes that i've grated so i removed the skin generally or also you could just blend it to make work easy these are four cloves of garlic this is half a ho ho that's the capsicum these are two large or red onions we have a small amount of tomato paste in here we have some salt to taste then here this is thyme this is few time a little bit of time this is black pepper this is paprika kidogo kidogo to measure exact measures but ni kidogo kidogo but when it comes to the garlic powder me i'm a lover of garlic and garlic all the way this is like one tablespoon then we have some little uh, curry powder so what you're going to do first is we need to chop up our our liver so I want to cube it, but first you have to remove this top membrane, which is really hard to remove. No, it's already been removed from the butcher. Not really. So it's quite it's good to remove the the top this top thingy. So come on, as a top membrane to then you need to just cube your liver. Big, big cubes, not tiny, because when, when you cook liver, it tends to shrink. So big, big cubes are fine. So we are done chopping, we're cubing our liver. So what you need to do is now put your flame up. Put some cooking oil. That's enough. That's enough cooking oil. Then you need to put in your liver. Oops. So if you don't like the smell of liver, you could wash your liver with milk but i'm okay with the smell of liver so if you feel that the smell of liver irritates you uneza yoshana milk so you need to fry it a little bit then after that i'm going to show you what we are going to do next so after frying the liver this is what you should get so you remove it from the cooking pan to reduce the flame just fry it a little bit see so if I remove that now you pop in your cook your onions then you need to sprinkle in some little salt then you, sh you should fry it, fry your, your onions until they are golden brown so you need to cover them for them to be the golden brown. So we cover them.
Our onions are turning brown really well. So I'll work with this. So what I need to do is put my, my capsicum. Give it a stir. Then add my tomatoes. Give them a stir. My garlic. Same thing, stir. For our tomato paste, you need to put little water in. And mix. As in, to try to make it lighter. Then all our spices in then some more salt then stir and cover them and let them four minutes later this is the situation in here it smells really good guys so now what you need to do next is put in your liver then stir in so this liver mneza kula na breakfast na pancakes mneza kula na zile the, the the roast potatoes that I showed you last time could you eat this with such things Atta with bread it's yama it's yum 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 guys it's no joke then you need to pour in a little water <laughs> cover and reduce the flame that's it is enough so let it let it cook for like five minutes So we're going to test, this is the end product, so we're going to test how the liver is doing. Mm. It's nice, very nice. Yummy and tasty. So, see you tomorrow on Vlogmas day seven if i'm not wrong till next time bye subscribe like and do all that good stuff